All right. I'll have to keep it right from the mound. Okay, we just finished two minutes each by each candidate. According to ground rules, any either of the candidates can request an additional one minute for rebuttal. Would either candidate like to have a one minute additional for rebuttal? No. Okay, we'll go on to the second topic. And that topic, as you may see on your key community issues list, is tax increment financing. Madison, the city, has a reputation for closely scrutinizing a developer's request for TIF financing. That's when the city borrows money through bonds to pay for infrastructure improvements like storm drainage, paving, street lights for parking lots, curbs and gutters around a new commercial shopping center or a big box store. And that is furnished to the developer. Then the new tax revenue from that new commercial development is pledged for many years to pay off those bonds the city borrowed. Some say the city's good credit is taking on undue risk and the city is giving up tax revenue for years while still having to pay for fire and police protection and other city services to that new business. An outlet mall, for example, was recently turned down by the city and was able to get TIF or TIF financing in Pearl instead. Some say outlet malls are not the kind of stores that Madison wants anyway. Target reportedly requested a tip of several million dollars from the city and was turned down by the city. But we understand Target may come to Madison anyway with a different developer who will finance his own infrastructure without a tip at all. Since we started with Mayor Mary, the second question topic will could be directed to Mr. Crosby. What is your opinion, Mr. Crosby, on using the city's good credit through tips? Well, to start with, I'll just go ahead and get it on out. I'm in favor of tips. And I don't want to use the example, and I don't really think we, it, it needs to say that the city is borrowing the money and using it as credit. You gotta understand what a TIF is. If you've got a piece of land out there and you've got a developer that is not gonna come if he doesn't get some help. And that help is, will be not only by the city, it'll also be by the county. And uh, by cutting that along tax, usually it's about 50% from each area for about a 10, 15, 20 years. Well, the thing is, in that 10 or 15 or 20, you are getting half, but you've got the other half that's coming in. And also, with the TIF, you do not get the due the bonds, you don't borrow the money until there's enough guarantee there by the developer and by the, uh, the uh, operation that's being built to, to fund those bonds. So it's not just a, a roll of the dice. You might have a piece of property sitting there just drawing in regular basic taxes. But if you can put a new building there, you've got jobs, you've got half the tax coming in for the city and the county, and also dollars for the schools. If we don't do that, they may not come. Then you're sitting there with a piece of land again that's not doing anything. And then when the tip gets paid off, I'm not in favor of long-term tips. In fact, I voted against long-term tips. Generally about a 10 to 15 year tip, I haven't got a problem with. But uh, after that 10 or 15 years, then the city, then the county gets all of their revenues, and by then you can have business growth and uh, dollars coming in, and you create jobs and other tax revenues for the city, regardless uh, instead of that piece of land city. Thank you. Okay, Mayor Mary, your view on tips. Yes, sir. The county has a lot of experience in public improvement districts and tips. Your taxes were just raised not long ago because developers defaulted to pay what was owed. And that continues to go up. Several millions of dollars have already been paid and will be paid over the next few years. Madison is being very frugal with a TIF. We make sure 
to those funds that belong to you, your tax dollars, are used for public improvements and not to improve a developer's private property. That has not been in the case, the case in which you heard just a few minutes ago. The outlet mall that was not approved by the city of Madison, the same developer who is who you are paying his assessment, his default on his road, is the one that asked for $12 million in tip up front for this outlet mall. We tell him, no, we're not paying it. You can build it to city specs, but we're not giving you the taxpayers' money. That's the difference in philosophy. We told Target the same thing. We told Target that you can build it, build it according to standards, but we're not giving away money to do that. This afternoon I received an email from Target and it reads, Mary, I want to thank you and the staff for working with the Target design team, that's the Madison look again, to determine elevations acceptable to both Target and the city of Madison. The collaboration between Sigla Phillips and Target and Graves Nelson and Alan Hoops made it happen. So, no sir, we did not do it. You know, but the TIF, the TIF money is not giving money away, it's an investment. And I go back to the fact that right now, we don't have a, you know, she referred to the outlet mall. That was a TIF. But you know what? What You know what we got out there right now? Dirt. You know what our uh, neighboring county has? They've got Saks Fifth Avenue. They've got an outlet mall coming. They're going to have, they talk about getting about $8 million. So it's not like we're just giving money away. If you understand the deal, it's an investment, and it's an investment for the city. And maybe that's one of the reasons that we don't have the money that we need to operate this city, and it's not on the right balance, and the right balance is not there for this city. So I can tell you right here now, I'm deal friendly, which is business friendly, which is revenue for the city of Madison, and you guys out there for roads and, and uh, also for our schools. Would you like a one-minute rebuttal, Mayor? Yes, sir. The PID was not a good investment, or you would not be paying for it with an increase in taxes. If it were a good investment, you would not be paying this man's default on his loan. We did not give him $12, 14000000 million of your money because you'd be paying for that, too. growing 